It's December 23rd. It's been a long, fun Vlogmas. I always thought of Vlogmas as something you had to do every single day, otherwise you failed. But I don't have that attitude towards anything in my life anymore, and it's freed me up to show up without feeling like I shouldn't because I missed a day of something. So I'm all smiles this morning because I watched the sunrise and I'm sitting here reflecting on the past few days and they were just really lovely. Um, Toby and I went to the North Shore the other day and it was beautiful. It was a three hour bus ride. For us, riding the bus is a necessity, but it's also something that we really enjoy because it makes everything like slow down a little bit and you have to be a lot more intentional about where you're going, what you're doing, and what you're bringing. And because of that, I just think that experiences end up being so much richer. We love North Shore, but it is far. We don't have a car, <laughs> otherwise it probably would take 45 minutes to get there. And um, there's, it's a whole culture, just like any neighborhood or place or city. It's just like a place that you, you really have to invest time into and um, I think that's how you reap the benefits of anywhere you live or anywhere you spend time is if you really like connect with the community and spend more time in it. So whenever we go, it's more just like we love the raw beauty of it. It's just a beautiful place. The waves are so powerful and loud and you can't hear anything. You can see planes and helicopters, but you can't hear them and you can like, you know the traffic's right there because the highway's right there, but you can't hear it because the waves are too loud. And we just so happened to see two whales breaching, which we both freaked out about, and we were like, this is, this made our day. And then we just wrapped up the day after just laying on the beach for hours. I took a couple walks, picked up some trash, and on our way home, we were like, we have to go to Poi Factory. It was just fantastic. Um, and those are the days that I love, and those are the reminders as to why I'm so attached to where I live. There's, this place has me in a chokehold. We just got home from a wonderful, beautiful, perfect, magnificent day up north. How was it, Toby? It was really nice. Out of 10? It was, um... <laughs> 10, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 kind of day. <laughs> no, it was beautiful on every account. And now um, we picked up some food from the Poi Factory and I'm so freaking excited to eat it. Toby already dug in a little bit, but I feel like we're just gonna have like the best time right now. And he's getting my drink ready. Got this little Lily Koi drink. And what did we get? Got Lao Lao. I got Squid Luau. Lomi Lomi Salmon. Poi. And Halpia. And Toby got the same thing except he got Beef Luau instead of Squid. And we're just gonna chow down. I'm very excited. Got my ice. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. People to see. You're covering it with your hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it just said pepper. Pepper tea. Nice. Peppermint. Well, I know that's going to be good. Yeah. We already love peppermint tea, so. Absolutely. We have tons of it, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Easy peasy. We can see how it stacks up against the the regular peppermint tea we have, though. Adagio. What do you got? Adagio. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> Wow, this is really good. It's so good. Whoa. But why'd she break the record? Hello? Forgot my hat. And I've met a lot of really nice aunties this week. And I'm. it's funny because I'm just like, I will, like aspire to be an awesome auntie so badly. And it's funny at work. People are just like, people criticize their bodies a lot. That's something I've noticed with working in like clothing retail is that people just like roast the life out of their bodies and it makes me really sad. Um, 
But a lot of women this week have been complaining about having, like, jiggly arms. And I don't know. I can relate, and I, I've seen so many women in my life, including my mom, you know, complain about their arms and how their arms look in pictures. And I think maybe I subconsciously just decided that I was never going to let that be a thing for me. And now I'm just like, I love when I'm cooking, and I'm just like, maybe this will make the food good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so I just, it's cool to meet some aunties and to just remind them that, like, you guys are, like, the pillar of society. <laughs> like, we need you. We need aunties in this world to set us straight, to, to give us love, to cook for us and make us feel comfortable and safe and warm and that's all I ever really want to do for other people is you know be an auntie <laughs> so it's been a, a really great week and I do feel the magic this time of year I feel the awful annoying parts this time of year too the parts that like really bring out my bah humbug like Scrooge <laughs> vibes but I, there's some magic. And I think the magic just comes with reflecting on your life and appreciating the blessings and thinking about what you want to change and what you would have done differently if you could have. And that those things make you feel good. It makes you feel like you can have a fresh start whenever and you don't have to wait till January 1st. But January 1st is probably the most powerful reset we have. It's the thing that really makes us want to like change. I think I only have a couple more vlogs left to go for this year. I'm pretty emotional about how far I've come and I'm in awe of the support that I've gotten on here and I just <laughs> I'm just really excited for what's to come. And I'm really proud of you guys. You know, I know all of you have dealt with so many challenges in general, but especially coming out of a global pandemic. I know that you've all rebuilt your lives. You're all trying to get control of your finances, get control of your joy and happiness, get control of your relationships. And I think I speak for all of us when I say it's better to let go and try to grab on and stay attached. So that's what I'm gonna do in the new year. <laughs> um, but I'll wrap this video up here and I'll see you in the next video, Christmas Eve.